Hey there, Price Smokers. Stash Gordon here, hanging out with Christine today, and uh, Jagger behind me. Jagger taking a nap. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have a box opening today. Very, very big box opening. Uh, went a little overboard and crazy uh, with a recent sale <laughs> that Pipes and Cigars had on um, Sutliff Private Stock blends, and uh, I'll tell you why I went so overboard here in a minute. So, anyway, let's get right into it. So, I'll start off with the Sutliff uh, blends. I have Man's Best Friend. It Never Bites is their uh, slogan on that one. Um, all of these I've heard good things about, either through you guys or on tobacco reviews. So, uh, all right, what do we have here? Some Balk Balkan Luxury Blend. I like uh, I like Balkans, so I was interested to try that. What else do we have here? Some Moulin Rouge. Uh, oh, all right, some Hearth, a Hearth and Home in here. Uh, this is their Caramel Apple. Uh, I think this is one of their newer blends, and uh, I've been wanting to try an apple blend, so that was my choice. What else do we have here? Some French Quarter. Again, heard good things about that one. Some Maple Street. Uh, I believe I've tried this before. That one was pretty good. Nice and mellow. Uh, kind of a maple flavor. Um, what else do we have here? Alright, Golden Age. Again, another highly recommended one. And finally, yeah, you guys see that one, Golden Age? And finally, the reason I went overboard. Uh, this is Molto Dolce. My most favorite aromatic ever. Uh, I will do a video just on that alone, but um, that was the reason that I, I did this big order, Pipes and Cigars. They might still be having the sale, so go check it out, but it was uh, buy one, get one half off on all the Sutliff stuff, and I literally bought five tins of the uh, Moto Dolce. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell her a lot of this. I uh, wanted to kind of develop my tobacco stash and uh, let some stuff start to age, but um, it is so good, the Moto Dolce. I uh, found it through Briar, uh, Briar Fire, Florida. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel down below, but we got together one afternoon, and he was smoking it, and the room note is unreal, and then he gave me a sample, and the smoke is just as good. Uh, my top two favorite aromatics ever are Hobbit's Weed and this stuff. And this stuff blows Hobbit's Weed away. That's how good it is. So you've got to try it. It is very heavily cased, uh, but it's not chemical tasting. Uh, it's just kind of oily. Um, but you still get a really good tobacco flavor, and it's like a caramel and mocha, and it's just awesome. Uh, again, I'll do a whole review just on that because it's that good. So, all right, what else? We have some honeydew. <coughs> These are just a few random ones I wanted to pick up to round out the order. And uh, sil silrims, I can't even say it. Silums. <laughs> sil <laughs> the uh, black, silums black. Uh, heard about that one through ABZ Pipes, and uh, that one's really nice. I mean, the tin is worth <laughs> just as much as the tobacco, probably. Super interested to, to try that. And uh, finally here from, I heard about this one from Flanker Tanker. It is a uh, pumpkin cheesecake. Ooh. And uh, now it's all over the computer. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's kind of like, it gives a smell of uh, like uh, animal bedding almost. So that wasn't very good to start out with my first impression, but uh, we'll see how it smokes. So again, just some stuff around out the order and uh, a little bit of uh, pipe cleaners. Can't have enough of those. So anyway, that's my latest haul. And uh, there was also some stuff on back order that I substituted out. So I'll have another uh, order coming through. Again, uh, the art business was doing really well this past month and wanted to spend some money on some uh, tins that I can sell her away and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen my other channel, my digital painting channel, uh, I sold one of my biggest pieces I've ever done uh, to the city that I live in. 
and uh, uh, you guys will enjoy that video. So I'll, I'll put a link down below to that as well. So, all right, guys. As always, remember to plan your work and work your plan.